What sparks innovation? Is it thinking bigger or smaller? Does it strike fast or slow? Is it a flight of fancy or a stroke of genius? Innovation is everywhere on desktops, in pockets, on wrists, in us. Innovation answers big questions, finds inspiration anywhere. It connects great minds, imagines the impossible, and propels us forward. At Keysight, innovation inspires us, fuels us, to redefine precision in measurement, to surface insights, to remove barriers, so the next stroke of genius is yours. We are Keysight. We accelerate innovation. Welcome to the 22nd International Conference of Young Specialists, EDM 2021. Uh, I welcome you on Section 5, Power Electronics and Power Engineering. Uh, today we will listen about 15 um, works. It is a great honor to be chair of this section. I am grateful for organizing committee. I am very happy to see uh, my old friends here and uh, as well as some new faces here. So uh, a couple of words for organizers about uh, how our section will be held and uh, some requirements, please. We will start from second work. Uh, Ivan Balshakov, optimum choice of reactive elements parameters for step-up DC voltage capacitor converter from Novosibirsk State Technical University. Please connect. Hello, my name is Balshakov Ivan. The topic of uh, my report is optimum choice of reactive elements parameters for uh, step-up uh, DC voltage capacitor converter. Starting from the dependencies uh, of mass and volume of the reactive elements, compressing uh, step-up uh, DC voltage converter, DCVC, based uh, on switching capacitors resonance structures, uh, SCRC, on the maximum uh, total energy stored, the problem of the parameters optimization is solved uh, theoretically. Uh, the circuit of the converter consists of K identical step up conversion units, SUCU. The step up uh, conversion unit, SUCU, of the DCVC uh, SCRS uh, consists of an inductance capacitance chains, ICC, each including a uh, commutable series oscillatory loop. Uh, expressions for parameters uh, reactive elements or in ICC are presented on the slide. Formulas, uh, show, formulas one shows uh, that owing to a certainty uh, of the relative uh, voltage ripples on the capacitors, the choice uh, of reactive elements uh, parameters is multiple volt. It is uh, expedient to solve the problem of DCVC reactive elements parameters uh, choice uh, using the minimum criterion of the total mass uh, and volume. Criterion function uh, of mass and volume uh, reactive of reactive elements are presented on the slide. Optimum values are determined from the minimum condition of the criterion function 2. Uh, the expression uh, for optimal values of the ripples are presented uh, on the slide. Uh, the slide shows a graph of the criterion function of the mass and volume uh, of, uh, of reactive elements. 
uh, minimum points, uh, optimum values of reactive ripple are indicated on it. Uh, uh, efficiency of the optimization can be estimated by the ratio of the normalized values uh, determined uh, using two uh, for a commonly used volume uh, 0 uh, 0.05 and the optimum volume uh, calculated by expression for uh, final expression for uh, efficiency takes form uh, are presented on the slide. Uh, graph of the optimization efficiency are presented of, on the slide. On the assumption that mass and volume of the uh, step up DCVC SRS. Uh, reactive elements are proportional to maximum total stored energy. The problem uh, of their parameters optimization has been uh, theoretically solved. Uh, the formulas and di diagrams are obtained uh, that allow evaluation uh, efficiency of the optimization uh, that for the normalized uh, coefficient within the uh, range from 30 uh, to 180 uh, change uh, 3.2 uh, to 1.6. That's all. Thanks for your attention. Okay, uh, thank you for your report. Uh, thank you for your work. Uh, I have uh, one question first. Uh, please answer. Uh, where is uh, the... Um, what is the optimum uh, area where step-up uh, DC voltage capacitor converter can be used? Uh, Hello. Hello. У меня, я извиняюсь, Дика, но я только смогу на русском ответить на вопрос. We have translator, yes. Uh, do you understand uh, my question? Так, так uh, ну, ну можете, можете повторить? Пожалуйста. Окей, okay, uh, optimal, uh, optimal area for use uh, step up DC voltage capacitor converter com comparing to other types of converters where this uh, converter type gain advantage uh, over others okay mm -hmm. please translate так хорошо я переведу Область, в которой конвертер на основе переключаемых конденсаторов имеет преимущество перед конвертерами других типов. А, в, в, вообще, конвертеры с переключаемыми конденсаторами, они при их построении используются керамические конденсаторы высокочастотные энергетические показатели которых на два порядка превосходят аналогичные показатели преобразователей, при построении которых используются реакторы и трансформаторы. Поэтому конденсаторные преобразователи предполагается, что это новая ступень в развитии преобразовательной техники. Okay, can you tr translate his answer? Sorry, I don't have technical education. I can translate it. Okay, uh, I need to translate answer too. Yes? Uh, okay, uh, so you are telling us that um, this converter has uh, gains uh, in uh, mass and mm, mass and volume gains uh, because of uh, smallest uh, uh, elements uh, used for building this type of uh, converters. Mm, okay, uh, someone have uh, questions, please?
Tell me, please, uh, what is the sensitivity of uh, your optimal solution because of a uh, variety of uh, reactive elements, or parameter of reactive elements? Understand? Sensitivity of optimal solutions uh, due to a variety of parameters of reactive element. Please, in, please, in Russian. Чувствительность uh, решения оптимальных в зависимости от изменения реактивных параметров. Например, в результате старения. Можете повторить этот вопрос? Чувствительность ваших решений, эффективности оптимального, же оптимальное решение, в зависимости от того, как реактивные параметры изменяются. Они могут изменяться в зависимости от разных причин. Ну, этот вопрос... Так... Но, Но этот, этот вопрос, вопрос не рассматривался. рассматривался. Вот. Вот. Поэтому... Okay, and unfortunately, this uh, answer has uh, go, get out of scope uh, during this work. Mm, okay, some other questions? No? Okay, uh, thank you for your work and thank you for your report. Well... Thank you. You're good. Okay. Uh, next one. Next one is uh, Alexey Udovichenko. Uh, he has uh, two uh, works. W first one is uh, determining individual relative share contributions of non-linear consumers in overall distortions of uh, AC power line voltage and current. And uh, the second one is AC voltage regulators review. Uh, I assume that uh, uh, there will be two separate um, uh, two separate speeches. Okay. 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 Uh, let's start from the first. You are. Uh, hello, uh, hello, everybody. Uh, first of all. Uh, um, say uh, that uh, my first report uh, uh, was uh, some little uh, with some little comments because uh, i'm not after of this work uh, head after this work uh, after this work uh, the lopatkin nikolai nikolaevich which can uh, uh, present it uh, himself uh, this work but uh, i uh, want to show you some uh, words about this thing uh, please, uh, first, uh, next slide, please. Uh, okay. Uh, first of all, I want to say about uh, introduction of this uh, article that uh, the problem of uh, reciprocal uh, effect of nonlinear loads of electric uh, energy and power line on electromagnetic process of each other is still topical despite a lot of regulation in the field. Issues related uh, to nonlinear loads, uh, including their individual impact to the decline in power quality, have been actively discussed in numerous papers throughout the world. And the second uh, then about uh, this article that uh, among the measures uh, concerning high harmonics, the analytical grounded methods have been proposed and considered in publication of the NSTU, uh, research laboratory of conversion system, which uh, had uh, uh, Zinov Stepanovich uh, to define the contributions of load and uh, AC DC mains in the voltage quality change. Some new calculation and uh, measurement techniques uh, have been offered on the basis of the developed author general direct method of electric energy quality analysis. The method of the different uh, differential equation algebraization. Uh, these methods have uh, two uh, modes, uh, as uh, you can 
see, and uh, they result in integrated square law estimations of non sinusoidal voltages and currents make it possible to calculate the total forms uh, values of harmonic spectres of voltages and currents. Uh, next. Okay, uh, okay. May I interrupt you for a second? Okay. Uh, please uh, tell us uh, briefly what uh, main idea and uh, what uh, main results uh, were obtained yes. during uh, your work. Yes, please. Uh, as the as slides, slides uh, show some, some little, little uh, concentrate uh, ideas. Uh, first of all, we presented uh, 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 schematical uh, Equivalent circuit of, of, of AC power, AC power which uh, uh, consists uh, of uh, non-linear input, input, uh, input voltage, voltage source and uh, two uh, non-linear uh, uh, loads, um, which presented uh, three uh, sources and uh, they uh, increased uh, of uh, n uh, uh, sources. Uh, we uh, calculate uh, uh, equations uh, with uh, uh, Kirchhoff's uh, law and uh, get uh, these equations. Uh, you can see the first equation, and uh, uh, we uh, separate it in uh, first harmonics and uh, high harmonics, which you can see on the second uh, large equation, uh, which consists uh, U. H, uh, R, L, H, and this is a basic uh, basis uh, variables. And uh, next slide, uh, you can see how we estimate uh, of uh, ratios uh, of this uh, um, total harmonic distortion. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, okay. Uh, after. Uh, um, uh, simplified, uh, simplified uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, formulas, uh, so we, we can, can get, get uh, 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 square, square of, of uh, uh, high harmonics of voltages. voltages. Uh, you uh, can see in the left uh, 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 part, part of slide, slide and uh, uh, high uh, square uh, high harmonics uh, of current. Uh, uh, this, this is the uh, right, right part of slide, slide uh, which uh, 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 can. Uh, Get the estimate of, of uh, in in integral of uh, harmonic distortion and, and total, total harmonic, harmonic distortion. distortion. Uh, uh, next, next slide, please. please. Uh, 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 this, this is integral harmonic distortion. Uh, this is a uh, um, uh, factor which um, uh, estimate uh, of uh, other harmonics. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Compared, compared with the first, first harmonics. harmonics. Oh, oh, I can, I can see, see my presentation. presentation. Okay. First of equation, this is total harmonic distortion. This is assumed all harmonics compared with first harmonics of uh, voltages, voltages and, and current. current. Uh, uh, next, next slide, please. You have only one minute. Okay. okay. Uh, um, uh, uh, our, Our other, other steps, steps uh, we, we can, can estimate, estimate uh, 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 what, what part, part of uh, uh, only one, one two, two or second, second uh, load, load uh, uh, mm, uh, get, uh, get uh, some, some distortion, distortion in all, all systems uh, for, for voltages, voltages and uh, uh, current, uh, which, uh, which presented, and uh, V and uh, J uh, uh, variables. And second, please. Uh, okay. Uh, this is uh, 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 what uh, high harmonics of uh, voltage and uh, current uh, I can uh, don't, don't don't show you, show you. but, but uh, on the voltage, voltage. Uh, 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 with uh, basis parameters, parameters which uh, uh, right uh, in the first of presentation, presentation. you can, can see uh, on the uh, right, right of uh, um, uh, part, part of, of uh, the slide, uh, uh, and this, this is, is uh, uh, some, some simplified, simplified uh, formulas, uh, uh, for, for example, example for. Uh, uh, 
uh, various, various numbers, numbers of, of uh, harmonics. harmonics. Okay. okay. Uh, and uh, uh, this is all about. Uh, I, want I want to show, show the and this, this. Uh, report. report. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, as I understand, uh, you are not uh, main author of this work, uh, but can you yes. answer some questions? Okay. 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 What is the uh, optimum choice of reactive element parameters? How can you say what is optimum? Only mm. in a mathematical way, just uh, for calculation, uh, uh, harmonics, uh, voltage and currents, or some other ideas? Uh, uh, first, first of all, of we, we um, uh, uh, base, base on, on uh, uh, government standard uh, of uh, this non-linear uh, non non uh, harmonics uh, in uh, uh, electromagnetic compatibility uh, that, that uh, uh, write that uh, total harmonic distortion for voltage uh, uh, not uh, higher 10 percent and, and uh, for current, uh, only, only integral, integral harmonic distortion, not uh, higher 2%. Two two After uh, all, we used uh, our equations, uh, which uh, write uh, uh, last uh, uh, papers, and uh, we uh, uh, compared uh, what uh, uh, we uh, want uh, uh, THD, uh, and uh, calculate, uh, uh, use uh, the CSG with uh, other types of uh, passive uh, components, uh, re resistors, capacitors. Uh, this is not optimum uh, for elements. Uh, this is optimum for uh, government standards. Uh, Okay, okay, thank you. I understand that uh, optimum is uh, for harmonic currents and uh, fulfilling the electromagnetic compatibility standards. Okay, yes. Yes. some other questions, please? Please? Please, please loud, loud. Please, please loud. loud. I, I can't, can't uh, see. see. Uh, uh, I can't. Can, uh, uh, can you hear me? Very, very bad. <laughs> please say louder and uh, yes, loud. Closer to the mic microphone. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Okay. Th again, thank you for the presentation. Uh, did you or main after verify uh, this equation in simulation or maybe in experimental? To be sure that it is uh, work or not? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, I can't uh, say about that. Max, uh, last slide. Uh, this is experimental uh, uh, simulation uh, was uh, uh, get with a PASIM uh, model and uh, compare it with our calculations uh, in uh, MATCAD uh, software. Uh, we uh, uh, assembled, assembled uh, simply model uh, with uh, non uh, type of source and uh, of uh, passive elements and uh, compare these uh, results and uh, uh, this result uh, was clear uh, without some uh, distortion. Okay, so your... Uh, models show that uh, your calculation is done without significant error. Yes? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, some uh, one last question, maybe? No? Okay, uh, thank you for your report. And please, uh, next work. AC voltage okay. regulators review. Yes. Uh, please... Uh presentation uh, hello uh, uh, this is uh, my report uh, main report uh, and uh, I show more words about this uh, thank you uh, next slide
Uh, first of all, uh, we compared uh, two types of regulators. Regulators, uh, 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 we uh, assumed uh, uh, for some uh, reasons uh, where regulators were, uh, uh, which have uh, some advantages or disadvantages. And uh, first of all, this is. Uh, uh, we compared uh, with uh, uh, mass uh, and uh, uh, dimensions uh, uh, parameters. Uh, uh, main par uh, main uh, part of uh, regulator which uh, uh, have uh, big uh, dimensions and mass, uh, this is uh, regulators uh, with transformer. And uh, compared to uh, uh, regulators without transformer. Uh, this is uh, two uh, types of uh, regulators, uh, and uh, I show you some uh, 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 schematic models. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, first of all, I want to say about uh, regulators without transformer. Uh, uh, and figure one uh, showed the uh, multi zone AC voltage transformer. Uh, this is a regulator uh, which uh, increased uh, to um, more uh, zones. Uh, uh, this is presented free zone uh, uh, regulator. And the uh, first uh, advantage, advantage of this uh, uh, regulator is that. Uh, it uh, can uh, work with uh, high voltage uh, uh, systems and uh, without uh, some transformer uh, used. Uh, but despite this uh, uh, scheme, uh, we uh, compared with uh, analog of this scheme with transformer and show you uh, some uh, three slides uh, after that. Uh, this scheme worked uh, uh, worked uh, without some uh, changes, and uh, this scheme can be uh, used for soft start of AC machines, and uh, uh, and this. So uh, next uh, scheme and next uh, next schemes uh, used for uh, stabilized of uh, voltage. Uh, you can see this scheme of uh, one phase uh, and uh, have uh, some more uh, IGBTs and uh, some uh, little of reactive elements. Uh, last elements uh, for. Uh, Filter of uh, signal, AC signal. Uh, next slide, please. Okay. Uh, uh, left and uh, right uh, scheme used for uh, stabilized uh, of voltages and uh, can uh, use the for compensator of reactive power. Uh, uh, this is uh, our uh, presented uh, before uh, uh, conferences uh, of EDM and uh, other conferences. Uh, schemes uh, and uh, this uh, f first of all uh, advantages of uh, the schemes uh, that uh, for free phase we used only uh, from uh, two IGBT transistor for uh, uh, six uh, switch uh, uh, from right to left uh, schemes. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, uh, this is uh, okay. 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 Uh, this is uh, uh, please show a presentation. Uh, uh, this is uh, another scheme uh, for uh, stabilized uh, stabilization and uh, compensation for active power uh, scheme. Next slide. Next. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, this is uh, some uh, schemes uh, with transformer. Uh, uh, these schemes uh, have. Uh, uh, ha, uh, as uh, advantages and disadvantages, that uh, they have a large uh, dimension and mass, uh, despite we use uh, uh, galvanic isolation. Uh, I want to show, and the next slide, please, that uh, next, next, uh, and next. Uh, this is schemes uh, you uh, can uh, see in my conference, uh, next, uh, my conference uh, topic. Uh, 
in uh, next, 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 please, please next. next. Okay, okay, and uh, conclusion, conclusion. Okay, please, conclusion. Please, please next. next, 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 next. Oh, uh, I want to uh, so, uh, say that uh, uh, these uh, regulators can used for some uh, uh, systems uh, and uh, change for some reasons uh, that uh, some regulators can use uh, with uh, uh, transformer for galvanic isolation, as I said uh, before, and uh, without transformer. Uh, this is a regulator can uh, include in uh, other systems uh, in a serial. Uh, uh, for example, uh, we can uh, we use uh, AC uh, power, uh, then uh, we use our uh, regulator and uh, some load. Uh, this is serial a type of uh, uh, connection. And uh, parallel uh, connections we use uh, maybe uh, and uh, regulators with transformer and without transformer. Uh, but uh, I want to say that uh, regulators without transformer and with small of uh, uh, switches and reactive elements, uh, these schemes uh, have uh, more advantages despite uh, other schemes, but uh, this is uh, comprising for uh, what reason you need uh, to uh, W to, to include, include these uh, schemes uh, for your systems. Okay, uh, okay. Thank, you thank you for your report. Uh, as I understand, it's a big review of uh, your uh, current and uh, former work uh, that held uh, on uh, Novosibirsk State Technical University on your department. Okay. Uh, yes. So, uh, uh, can you provide uh, some conclusions uh, that uh, what type of voltage regulators uh, in your opinion uh, will be uh, the next uh, mainstream regulators in uh, uh, following uh, 10 years maybe uh, what I type from uh, your review yes uh, uh, with uh, my uh, Research advisor, we uh, investigation some uh, IC voltage regulator with small switches. Uh, this is first uh, we concentrate uh, uh, investigate uh, regulators with smaller switches. Uh, mm, okay, I understand. Can so uh, we can see it in your work, yes, yes. Uh, in your paper, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, thank you. Some other questions, please? Please. Mm. Uh, I can uh, hear, hear you. you. Please speak into the microphone. Thank you for your report. Uh, answer to me, uh, please. Uh, why were you of uh, power range and voltage range in your converter? Uh, power range uh, <laughs> without, without range. range. Uh, uh, our, our regulators and uh, uh, this regulators, uh, uh, you can, can see, see uh, uh, can work, work uh, with uh, 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 power, power from, from uh, 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 less, less one, one kilowatts, kilowatts and, and more, more uh, one, one kilowatts. kilowatts. Uh, 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 what, what uh, uh, reason you, you need, need uh, for, for uh, work? Uh, maybe maybe uh, uh, regulators with uh, uh, more zones, zones uh, you, you can, can see on the first, first slide, slide uh, uh, the research regulators. Uh, uh, these uh, regulators uh, can be uh, used, used for uh, power uh, 10, 10 or more kilowatts, kilowatts. but, but uh, 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 regulators with, with smaller uh, switch and uh, 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 Without, without transformer, transformer and, and uh, uh, 
with, with some uh, functions, functions with compensation of, of rectic power, power and uh, uh, harmonics, uh, uh, types, types of regulation uh, used uh, for uh, systems uh, less, less of 10 kilowatts, uh, for example, 1 kilowatt. Okay, and, uh, okay maybe thank you. Watts. We got your point about uh, power and uh, voltage ranges. Uh, uh, please, one last question, maybe. Please. Uh, what can you do when uh, the output socket will be damaged? For example, short socket. Uh, uh, we, we use some uh, uh, schemes for uh, closed loop uh, that uh, can uh, uh, accept uh, this uh, situation <laughs> okay so, so, so. your answer is that your review include only uh, power stage of regulators not control stage yes yes, yes. On, only so you rely on these functions on uh, control stage but it is uh, not in your current uh, presentation and current work okay thank you Thank you, uh, Alexei. Uh, thank you for your work. Thank you for your really great report, uh, great review. Uh, okay, we will move to the next one. Thank you. Uh, okay, next one. I want uh, to invite. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, I I would like uh, to to get a couple of words uh, for, for our guest in mask, please. Thank you very much. In mask, please. Wear the mask, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. I I want to uh, congratulate all of you uh, with this. Uh, holiday with the, this uh, wonderful conference uh, and I I'm glad to see all of you and I want to introduce some words about uh, the se um, two reports uh, from our university uh, we represent a Moscow State Technical University of Civil Aviation and uh, our researchers are aimed to uh, to uh, research and uh, design intellectual digital distribution aircraft distribution systems. Uh, they are, are new in our uh, aircraft avionics, and um, these uh, distribution systems. Uh, make possible to measure many parameters, input parameters of consumers, uh, temperature, and we, our research is aimed to make a new substantion uh, such as digital portraits, electrical digital portraits and thermal digital portraits. And all of these uh, digital portraits uh, can uh, can make uh, diagnostic and uh, pro prognosing of the state of consumers of electrical Indication. consumers uh, with wide possibilities. And uh, two reports will be uh, about some of these researches. Thank you very much. Okay, th thank you for this announcement, and uh, I would like to hear these reports uh, very soon. Uh, can we hear it right now? Okay, uh, I invite uh, Victoria Pavlova to make her report. I'm a postgraduate student of Moscow State Technical University of Civil Aviation, Department uh, of Electrical Engineering and Aviation Electrical Equipment. 
Um, the topic of my report is diagnostics of the state of secondary power supplies input circuits parameters based on analytical expression. Um, oh, okay. Uh, studied object is the electrical replacement circuits of the electrical energy receives input circuits. Subject of study is method for determining the parameters of reactive elements of electrical replacement circuit of the electric energy receives input circuits based on the measured momentary values of the input current and voltage. Uh, scientists task uh, is development of a method for determining the parameters of electrical circuit replacement, circuit reactive elements of electrical energy receives input circuits based on the measurement of momentary values of input current and voltage. Um, the aviation equipment of modern aircraft has a uh, built uh, in sources of secondary power supplies. The amplitude frequency um, of the input stage, the secondary power supplied have a characteristic shape. The form determined uh, the total input impedance uh, of the circuit. Uh, at the last conference, the passive method diagnostic was considered. Uh, the slide shows the frequency response of the power supply service with simultaneous uh, breakage of capacitors and which are described in the capacitors of capacitors for times. However, this method requires to supply stimulating signal and uh, significant time for data processing. Uh, studies have shown that the presence of reactive elements uh, leads to appearance of resonant frequencies that depend on the parameters of these reactive elements. Uh, analytical solution of differential equation is necessary to obtain the dependence of uh, the controlled parameters on the measured one. Uh, figure 5 uh, shows a circuit synthesis from the frequency characteristic of the power circuit. Um, using the limit state method, uh, we obtain the differen differential equation with regard to the input current and obtain its analytical solution. Uh, applying sequently the procedure of the limit state method uh, for circuit with reactive elements, we obtain an expression for writing the differential equations with respect to the input current. Um, the right-hand side of equations is represent a constant because all derivatives uh, uh, of the constant voltage are zero. Um, the transits for the input current and its derivatives uh, are shown on slide. Transient uh, analysis, analysis confirms the presence of the required number of non-zero derivatives on the input current. Um, required to determine the reactive parameters of the replacement circuit. Uh, thus, for the consider process, it is possible to create a working digital portrait of the input circuit. Uh, the digital portrait is a mathematical model uh, in the form of system of algebraic equations, uh, with it easily implemented in uh, local load control centers uh, of aircraft power supply system. Uh, by changing the calculate values of inductance and capacitors, we can conclude that uh, state of the input stage of devices. Uh, we can monitor the process, the process degradation and uh, diagnose failures in the event uh, of a sharp change. Uh, in conclusion, uh, it's proposed to expand the functionality of intelligent digital power distribution system. The synthesis of diagnostic and forecasting algorithms is proposed to be carried out on the basis of the use of analytical expressions obtained by the limit state method. Uh, the proposed approach has minimal requirements for compatible resource for, for the implementation of diagnostic and forecasting algorithms in local load control centers. Uh, future research focus on uh, determination of sens 
sensitivity of changes in the control parameters from the measured ones and the errors of the proposed method and uh, formation of requirements for hardware and software of local load control centers. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you for your good report. Um, please um, give me an answer about uh, frequency response. Uh, you have a mathematical correct uh, model of uh, input part of rectifier. Uh, have you compared it uh, with the real rectifier, with, the, um, for example, damaging some input uh, circuits, damaging or short uh, input capacitors, for example? Have you compared your model uh, frequency response uh, yes. damaged damage response with the real damaged power supply? Uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, the last uh, research uh, was uh, is simulating uh, amplitude frequency, but uh, uh, in the future the plan is. Uh, uh, experimental researches um, on natural model. Yes, uh, because uh, it's a very complicated question. When you uh, turn out, when you turn to damaged uh, circuits uh, and it is uh, more complicated to measure its parameters and uh, to get some results. Okay, thank you. Some questions, please. We noticed that Gennady Stepanovich are connected with us. Gennady Stepanovich, if you have some words or questions you can ask, we will be glad. Gla Gennady Stepanovich. Okay. So, just, just for information, uh, please question uh, in uh, our uh, answer. Okay, please, uh, questions from here first. When we have a uh, connection uh, with uh, our re remote uh, guest, we will get a question from him, please. Uh, thank you for your presentation. Uh, what, is, what kind of... Uh, equipment you use for uh, realization your algorithm in real life, I mean for experimental, what does it mean the equipment in, I, mean, I think you will do it for aircraft system, yes? Yes. And what is the kind of equipment, maybe it is PC or microcontroller? Uh, uh, it will be realized uh, on microcontroller and mm -hmm. uh, our scheme Mm -hmm. Represented on slide uh, a simple frequency filter. Ah, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and other questions? Do we have a connection? No. Unfortunately, no. Uh, okay, I, I have uh, one more question. Uh, you have about uh, you. You talked about uh, frequency response uh, of uh, input part, and uh, what will happen? Uh, what frequency response will we get when we have uh, damaged uh, power supply? But uh, damage occurs into secondary side, for example, or at the output of the power converter. Can we see damage not only from the input side, but only from the output side? Does it reflect on the input? Um, I don't consider output. Okay, so your system aimed uh, to get uh, only input failures. Input. Output failures is uh, another, I, I, another I, channel, I, uh, another system. On this moment, uh, I don't uh, consider this. Okay, I understand. Oh, okay, thank you. Great job. And uh, please, uh, Elena Punt. Good afternoon. I'm uh, Elena Punt. I'm a postgraduate student of Moscow State Technical University of Civil Aviation. 
the emergence of new types of devices and the complexity of the functioning of existing ones is characteristic of the modern electric power complex of aircraft. In this regard, the level of energy load on these devices increases. Uh, this causes the devices to fail or reduce in, uh, their resource. Accurate and timely diagnosis or, of the protest conditions of electrical devices is an urgent problem of civil aviation and directly affects flight safety. Digital portrait is a promising method of diagnostics of electrical devices. Uh, digital portraits consist of electrical and thermal portraits. A simulation of uh, heat generation and heat transfer process based on the solution of the equation allows creating a thermal portraits. Analytical and numerical methods are widely used in modeling the temperature distribution on the surface of electrical devices. Numerical methods are used for models that take into account factors such as the use of materials with different thermal conductivity, uneven surface, flow around air or refrigerant. The most popular method are finite difference method, finite element method, and the finite volume method. The main idea of the finite element method is the approximation of a solid medium with an infinite number of points and degrees of freedom by a set of elements of finite size connected to each other at nodes. Uh, figure one shows the lithium ion battery that was used in the study of heat fields. Experimental studies of the battery were carried out according to the following plan, which is presenta presented on the slide. Uh, Uh, figures 3, 4, and 5 uh, show results of experiment studies. As seen in uh, figures 3, 4, and 5, the positive electrode temperature is higher than, than the negative electrode. Temperature distribution on the storage battery is not uniform. Temperature increases is, as the load current increases. In, in experimental studies, the temperature distribution field was removed electrical devices for different loads. This allows you to determine the preferred location of the point temperature sensors. Uh, for the battery, it's necessary to install the sensor either on the electrode itself or as close <coughs> as uh, possible to it. A model was developed for the study's lithium ion battery. Figures 6, 7, and 8, the simulation results. A general view of the thermal portrait for the battery is shown on the slide. Thus, during the experiments conducted and uh, the model solution, it can be concluded that the temperature distribution in the battery is uneven. Ion positive electrode is the most heated part. Arrangement of temperature critical components of the storage battery make recommendations on the, plane, on the place of installation of temperature sensors. That's all. Okay, uh, thank you. The, it was uh, very interesting. As uh, I understand uh, that uh, you make a uh, model, thermal model, that, uh, can d that describes uh, element, and uh, then you compare uh, real Uh, repeat. Okay, we hear you. Please uh, wait a uh, couple of minutes. Please mute him. Please be quiet. Okay, your work uh, is a uh, comparison between model and uh, uh, real uh, object behavior, and when real object changes uh, its uh, properties uh, that uh, describes by the model, you uh, will uh, think that it is broken or get out uh, of the uh, 
safely operation, maybe. Yes? Is it, uh, it is, is, is my understanding of your work uh, right? So you compare one thing from the beginning of the working cycle and then compare it to operation later. Mm, it first uh, will be, um, will re experiment results and uh, after I was prepare program on C++ realizing the finite element method. Okay, I understand. And uh, then uh, we have a real element and we have nozzles. Okay, from, um, um, okay uh, sometime passes and uh, our real element changes its condition. Can you predict it, for example, or it is just uh, representing uh, failure or good state? Can you predict uh, behavior or just uh, failure in your model? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Please, uh, some other questions? Well, and uh, I have uh, uh, one question. Uh, can you make a model of a different element, uh, for example, uh, power MOSFET uh, or some more complicated system, for example, power supply unit, and uh, make some assumptions that uh, your model will predict uh, its behavior as well as uh, it predicts behavior of single element. It uh, a single element. Okay, it, uh, so in your work it's only uh, for single elements. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, uh, if uh, no other questions, well, uh, thank you, thank you for your work and thank you for your report. Around 2010, there was an increasing demand for 4G networks. I had some big concerns regarding LTE. Vodafone Germany is operating four networks. Unfortunately, the worst case would be to add now with LTE network number 5, LTE 800 and network number 6, LTE 2.6. 当时是我们和客户讨论,觉得 原来传统的建网发射的话,都是重复建设,所以成本也很高,维护也很复杂。So, we talked with our customers again to see if we could combine 2G, 3G, and 4G network equipment into a single unit. That's when single RAN was developed. According to our customers, this was a very attractive technological invention. Our vision is giving all of our customers, two years from now, broadband data coverage where we do have voice coverage today, that means consumer. In 2010, the 4G LTE 800 MHz commercial service was first launched in Germany. The 800 MHz spectrum is best suited for the vast countrysides of Europe. In this so-called white spots, outside, in the countryside, in the small villages of Germany, hey, now it's really fast internet in my hands. Hello, my name is Sakini Kinsik. The topic of my speech is presented on the slide, the development of energy efficient fibrillator compensators for C systems. Please next slide. I would like to start the introduction with the relevance of application of the schemes, namely with the development frames of modern world of conductor electronics, uh, which is store dictate the requirements for both improving the electromagnetic compatibility of consumer and improving qualities of and uh, consumed electricity. Uh, this is the importance of developing an efficient system of open source regulators with their power uh, compensation function. Next slide, please. Since the scheme first, multi-zone uh, transistor system of the regulator uh, is present, the electrical software is properly considered of a series of combinations of N transistors which are connected in parallel. The supply voltage, where n is the number of converter zones, 
the structure of the derivation of case, uh, avoid to the short circle when the control process are applied to the converter. Next slide. The converter has both a single phase version and three phase version. Next slide. Uh, for the socket, the both operations were written using switching functions, and the equation was carried out using the deprivation or differential equations of mass. The resulting matrix for the active and reactive components of the tin-tin current and the capacitor voltage was the same with the dimension of 8 by 8. Next slide. Uh, the control characteristics were built for both a single zone converter and two zone converter. The key point of the second is the point with the modulation depth 0.55. Next slide. In addition to the, this method, the calculation was carried by the state variable method for a three zone controller, and the oscillograms of power voltage were obtained with the dynamic control. Uh, and control characteristics is also built with this case. Uh, next, next slide. slide. The result of the open loop dynamic control, the low voltage rate such as all, which is represented by, by an increase in the effective value of the output voltage, both in the relationship between the dynamics. Next slide. Next slide. On the left are uh, output uh, oscillograms of voltage, and uh, on the right are the sinking right. oscillograms. Uh, when using the service, just in the to the output current is in Next slide. Uh, during the sensation, free and actually the characteristics were taken. The first is the control characteristics, uh, the second is external characteristics, and the second is the dependence of the total of one factors. So, on the relationship. Next slide. Next slide. Uh, the, the converter, converter can be used as a soft starter for, for induction motors. On the left, left as the oscillograms of the direct starter motor, and, and on the right, right, the right of the soft starter using the converter. The range can be decreased from 48 amperes to 20 amperes. And the right, right range current at 10 amperes. Next, next slide. slide. Uh, the slide, slide shows photograph of Experimental and then there are the programs of the auto voltage and current where an active flow is connected. Next slide. Uh, the spectral composition of the auto current contains a substantial fundamental harmonic due to the repressions of the supply voltage and the group of component national harmonics to the speech repressions of the regular vertices. Next slide. Him, him, too. The block diagram of a single way and a replay version of the boost standard is present. The converter consists of the undality and then specific storage, alpha stores, and handy stores, and the adaptive specific is the second and complementary repair of the stores and then the second. Next slide. Uh, this this circuit was also carried out by the optimization of differential equations. My question is: What other exist? Was was built with a voltage conversion constant and the range from 0.8 to 1.22. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. This simulation can be interpreted as six were built. The first one tropic six is the second simulation. The total of one one five factors on the relation terms. Next slide. The form of all voltage, voltage and charge is at the lowest modulation depth, 0.55 in per second. Next slide. slide. Uh, the uh, slide can be used. Uh, 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 the the shock can be used as a voltage stabilizer in the even even total voltage rule in the supply wire net network. The input and output are increased at the time of the net network and are very big increasing the effect of the output voltage. Next slide. The first uh, one that can be used as a soft starter and can increase uh, 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 the output current. The output current is all high and it's a little bit of a Next slide. slide. The second slide can be used as a soft starter. The second one can be used as a soft starter. The power range is up to 12 watts. Uh, hey, hey, when we look at the power factor, you see three primary components like the reactive primary components of the converter cell cell. So, uh, six and rotation, and my brain wants to answer all the questions. Okay, uh, thank you for your report. It's a uh, very interesting work. But um, let me ask first. Mm, first question is uh, the 
basis of your work is development of energy efficient regulators compensators uh, unfortunately uh, you have uh, uh, no data about uh, energy efficiency of uh, your converters on the slides in your presentation can you tell us uh, what um, efficiency uh, uh, did you gain uh, into your work and uh, how it is compared uh, with the with the other um, systems that uh, do you compare your system with the other systems for example yes power factor is a uh, uh, voltage quality and uh, THD is uh, also about quality. But what about energy efficiency? What about uh, efficiency of uh, your converter or your regulator? First of all, the reptile consumption is reduced when you use this converter in okay can you tell us uh, in uh, raw numbers uh, how much uh, energy reduced uh, well uh, is it worth one percent or for example ten percent of energy we will gain we need to make a conversion with this, uh, 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 like to thank you for your presentation and uh, uh, at the first slide uh, you showed the schematic of your bidirectional switch that uses two additional diodes at the schematic and uh, for what purposes do you use these uh, diodes mm -hmm. Can you your at the third uh, slide you showed the schematic of your bidirectional switch mm -hmm. for what purposes you use the additional diodes that uh, obviously decrease the efficiency of the converter. Uh, this is a direction of case. It is structured to avoid uh, short, short so circuit in the system, system. In, in control, control system, system. Uh, to avoid short, short circuit. circuit. This is a direction of structure of the case. Okay, thank you for your answer. Okay, another questions? Please. Service group, can you open slide number 15? Uh, Evgeny, thank you for your report. I have uh, one small question. Mm -hmm. In figure 15, uh, the resulting matrix for active and reactive component. In this figure is active or reactive component? Your, Your sound, sound is, is very, very quiet. I, I don't know this. Please talk into the microphone. Okay. Evgeny, are you hear me? Very, very quiet. Okay. Uh, Evgeny, on this uh, figure, is the uh, mm -hmm. active or reactive components? Mm, what? what? Again. Uh, figure 15 uh, represents active or reactive component. Uh, as, as a, a load or what? what? Reactive, reactive components. components. In figure uh, 15, we see only one graphic. On one characteristic. On one this figure, uh, you, you can, can see the control characteristics or second converter. Okay, is it active or, or reactive component? Uh, 
component of the load, load. Or, or what? Output 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 is load is Load. Там просто подпись графику, то, что это результат матрицы, где есть ага. активная и реактивная составляющая, и на графике только ну, один рисунок. Это есть активная или это есть активная составляющая? А, это это Okay, well, this is the, the full regulation characteristics and uh, this some misunderstanding with the picture highlighting, yes? Okay. Thank uh, you for your Okay, answer. thank you. One last question, please. Okay. Uh, thank you for your presentation, please. Uh, open slide number nine. Yeah. Um, in this... In the left picture, I see that voltage consists of uh, two steps, but in the figure of uh, uh, topology, I saw uh, three switch, and I waited that the voltage uh, will be consist of uh, three steps. I mean, uh, for regulation, how we can describe uh, for this uh, voltage uh, waveforms? I mean, how your converter regulate voltage between three switches? Uh, did you understand my question? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, this is for um, how the voltage is um, um, obtained by switching to the second switch in dynamics um, or this converter uh, when modulation uh, is 0.5. Uh, in the middle of the regulation range. Um, I mean, uh, please, can you open previous slide where uh, the topology is uh, shown? I mean, slide number five. This is the form of out of voltage thing by switching to the second. Uh, before, please. Uh, yeah, this slide. As I see, there is, uh, for one phase, there is a uh, three switch. And this switch, uh, this, uh, I mean, transistor or bidirection transistor switch the different capacitance it means that to load applied three uh, step of voltage. But in yes. picture of uh, in the picture on slide number nine, we see only two step of voltage. Because the simulation steps at this voltage form is constant, zero point five depth when. when um, Second, second switch, switch is open, open. Okay. in dynamics. Uh, it means one of the switches. The first switch is open, open and the so third um, switch is closed, closed and, and um, second, second switch is in dynamics. dynamics. Yeah, thank you. I understand. Thank you. Uh, okay, so uh, go to the next one, Denis Porochkin. Uh, hello, my name is uh, Denis Kurochkin, and my research question is a comparative analysis of DC DC boost converter for spacecraft power supply system. Uh, to today, uh, today, the number of uh, tasks performed by spacecraft is increasing. Hence, uh, increasing power level of power supply system, rising switching losses, describe an efficiency and increase in size of high distribution system. Uh, where are uh, some ways to improve, uh, uh, improve efficiency? One of if is uh, using uh, more effectively scheme. For example, is uh, uh, soft switching uh, circle with soft switching. Uh, uh, for, compar uh, for comparison, I used four circuits. Uh, two circuit with hard switching and two circuit with soft switching. Uh, conver uh, conversion boost converter, boost converter with additional inductance, uh, uh, Reson resonant boost converter as uh, a circuit with uh, passive source switching and boost converter with active sniper cell as converter with active source switching. Uh, 
All these converters were calculated uh, from the parameters shown in this slide. Uh, and simulation conductance, uh, you can see, is here. Uh, as you can see in this slide, a resonance uh, boost converter is, uh, have best, effic uh, best efficiency in, the, in this. And uh, boost converter with active sniper cell uh, have uh, similar results with uh, boost converter with additional inductance. In this slide, you can see uh, semiconductor losses for switches and for diodes. Uh, for D case, boost converter with active sniper cell, this graph uh, for switches and the graph for the others is uh, summary losses in switches uh, in this scheme and in the others. All, all summary losses uh, for all the others. Obviously, that uh, 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 switching losses uh, is increasing with rising uh, uh, frequency. Expect a boost convert, a resonant boost converter because in this case, uh, commutation losses are around zero value. Uh, specific energy characteristics. Mm. All of these converters uh, don't have ad uh, adventure in mass or size. Expect a uh, boost converter with additional inductance. These, uh, with con uh, these converters have uh, some small output capture. And in conclusion, I would say that uh, use of switching circuits does not give any gain of uh, width or uh, weight or footprint. But so switching circuits are more efficient than uh, the, conversion, uh, the conversion converter. In the future, I want uh, use adventure of uh, converter with additional inductance and so switching for creation, uh, generation new topologies. It's all. Okay. Uh, thank, you. thank you for your presentation and uh, for your uh, work. Uh, I have uh, first uh, one very important question. If uh, working frequ operating frequency, switching frequency, rise to about uh, 200 or 250 kilohertz, can you tell uh, that uh, proportion uh, between losses uh, will remain the same or, uh, or will be different? If we rise in switching? If we rise uh, switching frequency, yes. uh, do we get more gains in efficiency from uh, soft switching or this uh, proportion will be the same? The same gain about one or two percent? Uh, yes, if we move frequency further. Uh, in, uh, in case uh, if we have soft switching, uh, you, uh, in ideally, we don't have uh, described efficiency. In, in case hard switching, obviously, we have uh, described efficiency because uh, commutation losses are increasing. So would you expect uh, the slower fall with the constant difference or increasing difference in efficiency? Increasing difference. Okay, thank you. Uh, please, another questions? Please. Uh, what types of losses uh, you considered in your report? Only dynamic or not? Uh, these summary losses. Uh, but this is summary, uh, is uh, full efficiency for converters. What type of losses? Uh, dynamics and static losses, and uh, what, I, what are they depend on? Only, uh, only of frequency? Uh, uh, dynamic losses, uh, obviously dynamic losses depend on uh, increasing frequency. And static losses? Uh, static loss, uh, losses uh, too. Um, in this case, 
I uh, recalculated uh, uh, these converters for new frequency. Five points, uh, 50 kilohertz, uh, 100 kilohertz, I uh, uh, recalculated all parameters for all converters. Okay. Uh, and uh, static losses um, uh, describe uh, in Min. case uh, in inductors because uh, uh, size of inductors uh, are described and static losses in inductors described too. Okay, uh, but uh, if we increase the frequency, the temperature may be increased too, and the static losses ah. may, may be different. I Understand? don't know that, and that with. Uh, thank you. Okay, thank you. Another question? Thank you so much for your report. Uh, you noticed that you, comp you made this comparison for spacecraft power systems. And my question is, what the features or parameters uh, did you consider uh, in, your, uh, in your research that are specific for spacecraft systems? Uh, repeat, please. What the features and parameters did you consider in your research that are uh, that are specific for spacecraft? I used. Y yes. Mm. Uh, that I say. Uh, uh, I in in the last my research I. Uh, uh, use, uh, using these converters because um, uh, e these converters is more uh, uh, have uh, more efficiency and uh, some uh, uh, small output capture. These converters uh, I uh, want to use in my future. If this is uh, the. the uh, uh, I think this ad uh, adventure, uh, this adventure, because uh, they use uh, small uh, small size in uh, spacecraft system, but uh, these converters have. Uh, if we uh, incre uh, increase uh, frequency, losses in these converters increase too, be uh, be uh, and I want to use soft switching is a converter of such types. In and my future, my uh, work. And these uh, four converters are used in spacecraft powered system rather than conventional systems? Maybe. Okay, thank you. Okay, one last question, please. Yeah. Uh, thank you for your presentation. Uh, please uh, switch to the next slide. Yeah, this slide. As a seam, you show uh, diode losses which doesn't depend on uh, frequency. But uh, if I currently understand the physics of uh, operation diodes, each diode has reverse recovery cell losses when uh, diodes is turn, uh, turned off. How you can describe, or maybe your uh, system doesn't include these losses, because diodes uh, should uh, have uh, power losses uh, from frequency, with increasing frequency. Uh, static frequency uh, more than uh, dynamic frequency for recovery. Uh, recovery losses. Recovery losses. Reverse recovery losses. Uh, re reverse recovery losses in this uh, this graph have recovery losses too, but uh, the size of recovery losses is small uh, for compare uh, static losses. Okay. Uh, why in case of D? The losses is uh, firstly decreases, uh, then increases. These summary losses e, uh, in these converters have four diodes, and uh, this case is summary of all diodes. Okay. So you have uh, one optimal working point for that type of converter. Uh, D case. Yes, D. For example, between seventy-five mm -hmm. and hundred kilohertz. Uh, that have I minimum think these losses. These converters, uh, uh, no frequency. Uh, these converters uh, use so switching is mine switch, and these converters use when 
we ha we need uh, get more uh, power uh, two three five kilowatts and uh, in this case losses in uh, sub switch will be uh, lower than main switch in this case these converters uh, useful uh, uh, okay uh well, uh, thank you for your report and thank you for your very interesting work. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Uh, please, uh, next one. Uh, my name is Evgeny. I represent uh, Novosibir State Technical University. Uh, I uh, do have some uh, research conducted with uh, matrix converters and so do you hear me? Okay. Uh, the topic of my research today is the investigation of a hybrid cascaded multi-level converter. Uh, so uh, for the beginning, I would like to start with the matrix converter. So let's, let's, let's see what is the matrix converter. Uh, matrix converter is the nine, uh, nine switches converter that allows uh, intermediate uh, with less convert voltage from input to output without intermediate stage. So it means that the, this converter allow uh, bidirectional power flow. So uh, the converter could easily change, could be easily changed from the uh, rectifying uh, to, sorry, from the uh, motoring to the rec uh, regenerating mode. In comparison with the traditional uh, two-stage system, uh, it has uh, uh, it has a uh, compact design and uh, smaller size because uh, it, 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 don't have a, it is not necessary to use additional components like in the, uh, in the traditional system, uh, like harmonic filters, AC chokes, and, and so on. Uh, so since that uh, this converter don't, don't have a, a diode bridge rectifier as an uh, input stage, uh, it... Uh, provide a very good uh, uh, input current uh, quality, I mean a low input THD. So, and uh, nowadays it's uh, assumed to be the greenest, the greenest technology that we have. Uh, so, as you see, the features of matrix converter, it provides uh, 0 0.98 displacement power factor. So that means it is very effective for uh, for the uh, different uh, applications. So, but the uh, one point, one very important point that limits the usage of uh, this circuit is that the maximum output voltage available is around 0.95% uh, uh, if uh, overmodulation technique is used. And 0.87% uh, if the standard space vector technique is used. So, and uh, b because of... Uh, don't, because of the, this voltage uh, sucks, let's say yes, uh, the, most of the applications uh, are not uh, operate with a high efficiency. So, and uh, for, the, uh, for the options for, the, for solving this problem, uh, the cascaded multi-level circuit was uh, uh, proposed. So they consist, it consists of the a traditional matrix switch unit, uh, in se which uh, connected in series with edge bridge converters. So uh, the, this circuit is uh, provide output voltage increase capability and multi-level voltage generation capability uh, due to geometric summation principle. Uh, so what is the geometric sum geometric summation principle? Uh, it is uh, very uh, clear if the single phase uh, circuit is considered, which is shown in the figure two. Uh, could you please turn the air conditioner? Because this is very, very warm. Uh, <clears throat> so the H bridge converter operates in such a way that the phase of the modulating signal compensates the phase shift between the input current and supply and voltage. Uh, the main idea is that the uh, voltage level, uh, the amount of energy that is stored uh, on the uh, capacitance is uh, depends on the 
shift of the phase angle between the modulating voltage and uh, source voltage. So the idea is that we switched these voltages and the output voltage would be the geometric sum of these two voltages. I mean, the voltage of, uh, okay, the voltage of source and the voltage between nodes A, B. So this way uh, provide the uh, increase of output voltage. Well, to verify this idea, uh, the, the converter was simulated under the proposed control technique. Uh, and on the pictures, you can see the waveforms of voltages on the capacitors and the voltage of output voltage. So, oh, the voltage on the load. Uh, as uh, it's seen, uh, that uh, it, it could be clearly seen that the voltage has additional levels. Uh, so, what is important is that uh, we connect uh, the edge bridge, edge bridges not for uh, for increases of voltage levels, okay, but for increase the amplitude of the voltage. This is main idea. This is the reason why it uh, it overcome the problem of reduced voltage. And on this slide, on this picture, you, you, uh, the input voltages and in input voltage and input current and uh, output voltage with uh, other voltages are shown. So you can see that the output voltage is higher than the input voltage and voltage the, between A, B node of the H bridges. Uh, so to compare, the, uh, to compare the voltage transfer with the conventional matrix converter, the step up voltage dependers were uh, calculated. So in the point of M about unit, we have uh, uh, the output voltage two times higher than the input source voltage. So. Uh, well, th this is another characteristic that show that the uh, uh, control system should adjust an appropriate angle to provide the necessary level of output voltage. So, uh, in conclusion, what can be said that the, the circuit has a very high perspective since it uh, consists of uh, finished models that can be purchased on the market and uh, it can be uh, used for different applications which Required, uh, required a boosting of voltage level or very low THD of input current and so on. Thank you for your attention. Please. Okay, uh, thank you for your report. Uh, one main question is uh, how uh, big uh, this type of converters uh, in uh, the meaning of uh, number of keys and uh, mass and uh, volume of proposed converter? Okay, thank Compared you. To classical, to classical, uh, what? To classical matrix converter or to classical? Yes, uh, for example, for classical mm -hmm. matrix converter. Okay, uh, for in comparison with uh, classical matrix converter, the proposed Gibb bridge circuit has uh, only three additional elements. This is three H bridges that uh, connects in series with matrix switch unit. They are shown there. So, uh, but. If you, if uh, if it's requ it is required to have a multi-step voltage, uh, or to reduce uh, voltage stress of the element, these uh, these uh, edge bridge cells could can be uh, connected in series. So in basic configuration, this is only three edge bridges as additional elements in compared to the conventional matrix converter. So, uh, speaking about weight, uh, I could I don't calculate uh, the no, I don't have so uh, s kind, this kind of research, but uh, the absence of uh, DC bulky uh, electrolytic capacitors uh, make it more uh, stable and uh, make the dimension to be no oh sorry <laughs> to be uh, quite smaller. Okay, uh, thank you. Please, another questions. No questions. questions from Gennady Stepanovich. No. Okay. Mm, no. I. Uh, so I have. Okay. One. One more question. You could speak. You could answer the question in Russian, and I will translate. So, Sergey Alexandrovich, if you have. Okay. Yeah. I have. Please. Yes, yes. I hear you. 
Thank you for your presentation. Uh, what can you say about the current load of these capacitors? Uh, good questions. Uh, capacitors in the edge bridges. So, uh, I don't have uh, some, uh, some investigations on the topic that you said, but during the simulation, it's the typical typical DC DC current that that is just the shape like in the in the inverter. So, so, so I mean, how much current in this? It uh, depends capacitors? on the it depends on the power that you chose, mm -hmm. and it depends also on the voltage full, that you full load current through these capacitors. Uh, uh, the, when I simulated, uh, the power was about thirty kilowatts, and so I I don't remember what the the actual current level, so okay. excuse me. <laughs> but but okay. you have a good question, so okay, I, will take, I will take it in the cons consideration. Uh, is it research for real application? Uh, it could be. It could be. Yeah, it could be the for real application. Uh, but the question is the power range of the of the device. So as I said, the the, these uh, cells could be stacked in series. Uh, that means it could be designed for the high power or medium power application. So of, it, it, it also be appropriate for medium or for low voltage uh, level and power. So Thank it depends you. on the requirements and on the task of the, of the device. OK, okay so please, yes, the last yes. question. Thank you for your uh, presentation. Uh, can you tell about uh, what uh, control algorithm of the arch, bri uh, arch bridges? Uh, okay, yes, I understand. Thank you. Uh, during the modulation, we used the very simple uh, carrier-based uh, control circuit, where modulating voltage was uh, shifted uh, in 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 comparison with the you know, relative to the uh, to the input source voltage. So the classical uh, carrier-based power width modulation system. Classical phase shifting bridge. Phase shifting, yes. 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 Okay. But of, of course, it, uh, it can also be the ABC to the curve or some, something like control loop. OK, the, and what uh, frequency this bridge is operating at? Uh, it is recommended in such type of converters uh, to operate under the frequency about 4 kilohertz as a power uh, semiconductor device. Uh, so it is the recommendation from Siemens for the classical, typical uh, power drives. So I think that it would be the much, much relative to them. It's four or five kilohertz. It is necessary to provide a high quality of signals. Well, so OK, I understand. Uh, thank you for your thank report. You. Thanks, uh, thanks very for good. OK, thank you. Okay, we have five minutes until coffee break, uh, and uh, we can listen one more person, maybe. This is my topic. I'm from uh, Novosibirsk State Technical University, and. Uh, huh? Okay, the power transformer. It's very important. Uh, it's very important uh, equipment on uh, our power e energy. Please speak into the microphone. Uh, power transformer it's uh, very important in our energy system and uh, replacing or maybe repairing transformer it is very ex uh, expensive very hard process and uh, him uh, can follow to the blackout on uh, many areas so the one of the problem uh, one of the dangerous factors uh, for transformer it's a high frequency over voltage impulse uh, and uh, we need uh, to protect uh, we need to protect the transformer from this impulse uh, today uh, the most uh, modern and common uh, equipment for protection it is the surge arresters and uh, multi uh, uh, multi pop, pop, pop. Multi-chamber arresters uh, from uh, St. Petersburg. Uh, 
But uh, these uh, devices have some uh, disadvantages. And uh, today, uh, the very actual uh, question to uh, uh, pro uh, developing new protect uh, protection uh, equipment uh, on a new principle. So, uh, in our department uh, earlier uh, was developing a frequency dependent device is uh, protection uh, equipment for working uh, uh, who use the skin effect in his uh, works and uh, this uh, device have a very good uh, uh, efficiency but have some uh, problem it's a very low active resistance on uh, uh, high frequency on frequency on the lighting uh, impulse or commutation. So my uh, work at, it is uh, uh, to, to create a new uh, new device on uh, another uh, voltage uh, and uh, maybe use a new uh, design uh, for. Uh, improve the characteristics of frequency dependent device so uh, i am of my study you uh, can see i uh, want to check uh, to note that uh, uh, we, uh, we uh, the secondary tasks it's uh, provide uh, it's uh, check how to uh, uh, line trap uh, uh, how line trap uh, uh, protects uh, from frequency dependent device. Uh, if you uh, interested in what, why uh, line traps, you can ask a question after presentation. So, the uh, mission scheme uh, uh, consists on two parts. It is uh, uh, parts for char uh, charging uh, capacitor and parts to discharging on uh, samples. This is uh, frequency dependent uh, samples uh, have uh, active uh, elements and uh, reactive uh, and shunt. So uh, to, uh, it is important that uh, on uh, every uh, every sample and uh, every uh, capacitor we use, we uh, provide uh, different uh, frequencies. What you can see on the table. So. Uh, we use uh, we uh, we use uh, three uh, samples. It is frequency dependent device with a round wire, frequency dependent device with uh, multi layer uh, flat multi wire conductor, and uh, uh, just a uh, high voltage cable in the coil. It's like a, a line trap. So uh, we. Uh, Obtain these uh, 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 diagrams, and uh, using it, we, we can uh, calculate the active resistance uh, of the hours uh, of the hour samples. And uh, 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 on the results, we can see that uh, frequency-dependent device with uh, round wire uh, have. Uh, more, uh, High growth of uh, active resistance and uh, active resistance uh, that uh, the rectangle uh, wire uh, model and then uh, uh, sample without a ferromagnetic uh, layer, just a la uh, light trap. Uh, there you can see uh, uh, measurements from the RLC meters. And in conclusion, uh, we uh, can see that uh, 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 FDD with uh, round wire, uh, wire have a very good uh, resistance, very good uh, growth of uh, resistance, but uh, uh, multi-layer uh, multi FDD uh, not very good. Uh, we uh, we uh, think that it is not a successful uh, design of our co conductors, and uh, now we uh, uh, do, and uh, now we uh, are working in this and upgrade the uh, upgrade share of conductor shape. So.
I. Uh, okay, uh, thank you for your presentation. And uh, how can you describe such a big difference uh, between two cases when the flat uh, conductor device used and the simple uh, round wire used? Okay, thank you for questions. I think it is because uh, when we use uh, the round uh, wire conduct, it is uh, uh, round uh, high voltage cable and uh, ferromagnetic, uh, 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 ferromagnetic layer. On the hours that's uh, flat uh, FDD, we have uh, uh, many, many uh, lower layers uh, with uh, high. Uh, that uh, look like uh, many resistance of uh, mm. I'm sorry, parallel. <laughs> In parallel. Uh, was, which include parallel, and uh, that's uh, m many uh, increase uh, the active resistance. <laughs> okay, thank you. Please, another questions. Mm, maybe, 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 maybe I can, I can get a question. question? Please. Please. <laughs> yes, please. Please, please. Uh, we, we see, see your measurement uh, with uh, some, some types of, of uh, wire with other uh, uh, frequency. Why you do not uh, show for us uh, uh, this uh, program uh, with uh, equal frequency? Uh, for example, 23 kilohertz or 100 kilohertz. Why? Okay, uh, uh, if I uh, understand your question, why I don't uh, show you one frequency on uh, different uh, Yes, samples? exactly. Okay, uh, it, because it's uh, don't, I can't uh, this do, or because I have the differ on the every samples, on the every capacity, differ uh, killer uh, frequency, and I can uh, take uh, I can take the closed uh, frequency, for example, 100, 125, and 111, but it is not, uh, it's not equal. And I think uh, show you uh, on one capacitor uh, the di differ uh, with uh, samples. Uh, and okay, I understand. understand. Okay. okay. Okay, another questions? No. So, uh, why, uh, how can you explain that uh, almost uh, the same frequency dependent devices uh, operation with the, the same capacitance have uh, these uh, different uh, frequencies? Why is it so? Why the frequency differences for ah, okay. are other mm, other parameters that uh, your device uh, the same or different? For example, inductance. Okay, uh, uh, inductance uh, in the mission circuit. Uh, the uh, when we use uh, one capacitor. Uh, and uh, the different samples, we have uh, one uh, inductance, or not maybe equal, but uh, closer, because the geometric parameters of our samples, it uh, was uh, equal uh, uh, without. And uh, Schunt was uh, one, uh, one for all uh, missions, and uh, uh, different uh, 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 resistance, because uh, in the differ uh, uh, different resistance and different effects of uh, in ferromagnetics uh, layer. 
Okay, uh, thank you. If uh, no more questions, so thank you for your work. Please, next one, Ivan Alexander. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you have a pleasant uh, conference. So uh, let me start with my uh, presentation called three-phase bidirectional converter control system designed to meet the DC side output impedance requirement. So uh, due to the growing rate of uh, renewable power sources used in the, uh, to get electricity and uh, growing demand uh, on um, ef uh, higher efficiency of power systems, uh, Inter International Electrotechnic Committee push us to the low voltage DC uh, transmission line. Uh, so uh, a typical low voltage DC transmission system uh, consists of load, DC side converters, uh, DC uh, bus, and uh, grid interface which connects the AC grid with DC microgrid. So for the uh, for this system, when the energy uh, is taken from the AC grid to the DC grid, uh, the uh, uh, bidirectional power converter could be considered like a source power converter and the load converters like a load converter. So in uh, such system, uh, uh, stability problem occurs when the uh, output impedance of the system intersects, uh, of the source converter intersects the input impedance of the load power converter. So the overall goal of the uh, system design to limit the impedance of the source power converter on a certain level and to uh, eliminate, eliminate these intersections. So the, at the first stage of the uh, analysis, the mathematical modeling of the converter was uh, done and um, such block diagram uh, consisting of transfer function derived by the average state space model was developed. Uh, such system um, was, uh, output impedance of such system was uh, analyzed and it was shown that it has a resonant peak that should be eliminated at the um, current loop design step. Due to uh, this uh, term, so uh, the overall goal of the current loop design is to make the open loop gain of the system to be higher than the, uh, the uh, than this term, and this eliminates the uh, impact of DC uh, uh, perturb current perturbations on the dynamic of the current loop. So uh, using this um, condition, the following uh, uh, formulas was uh, obtained that ensures that the uh, open loop gain is higher than the uh, AED gain. So uh, the second stage where the uh, limitation of the uh, output impedance of the converter is done uh, is the voltage loop uh, uh, C, uh, calculation. But at first uh, step of the process, uh, uh, voltage loop modeling must be done. So uh, we done the voltage loop modeling and uh, decided to uh, divide it in three areas, like uh, uh, low frequency area, which has uh, low poles and um, zeros, uh, middle frequency uh, area where the converter could be represented by uh, simple gain and RHP uh, zero uh, region. So uh, the most pro appropriate uh, uh, region for the voltage crossover loop is uh, a, um, a green area. So the mathematical model for this uh, region was developed and um, uh, output impedance of such system with the voltage closed loop was uh, calculated and uh, uh, parameters for uh, P-type compensator was obtained, but a P-type co uh, compensator for such uh, system is not enough uh, the, uh, due to presence of low uh, frequency uh, poles and zeros. So uh, an additional uh, minus uh, 20 decibel for decade uh, should um, uh, compensator should bring to the system so uh, a conventional p type uh, compensator with uh, minimum omega u it's like a, a gain of uh, integral gain of uh, compensator should be used uh, so to uh, 
to represent the minimum out, uh, to represent the, the limited output impedance. So uh, the simulation result was obtained of such a system with uh, parameters depicted on the slide. Uh, uh, the correctness of uh, obtained results uh, were validated. And uh, it was shown that the system uh, with parameters calculated by uh, derived formulas uh, adequately follow the pre-calculated uh, output impedance shape. So uh, uh, in conclusion, I wanted to say that uh, um, such type of method uh, methodology could be used to calculate parameters of uh, grid interface converter with limited power uh, uh, output impedance of the converter to meet the stability criterion of the system. And currently we are pushing to the uh, experimental verification and uh, the, it was show, uh, not shown there, but uh, the research was supported by Ministry of uh, Higher Education and uh, NSTU uh, Development Program. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your interesting work. And first question is, uh, how much uh, do we need difference uh, in uh, impedance uh, to maintain stability in system? Uh, it depends on the uh, stability margin you want to be in your system. Uh, if you uh, set the, uh, the limit of your uh, stability margin, you can calculate this. But uh, to be stable, the system, uh, to, um, it is enough. The system has no any intersections between the impedances at all. But uh, there's maybe uh, small, tiny, um, differences, but system will be stable. Okay, uh, thank you. To, uh, so uh, stability depends on criterion uh, that uh, you calculate stability, but uh, it uh, unconditional stability will achieve if you have uh, a little margin. Yes. Okay, thank you. Another questions, please? Uh, yes, Ivan, thank you for being so interesting and emotional. Okay. Well, uh, my question is, uh, uh, excuse me, may I miss some uh, important idea? But what the practical value of your research? Because I see a lot of theoretical things. Yes, you do some calculation. Uh, how could you implement and what system could be implemented with your calculation? Could you repeat or maybe some examples? Of yes, you, uh, I showed at the first slide that uh, currently uh, modern power systems uh, are tends to be DC uh, distributed uh, systems, uh, which represent a higher um, efficiency so uh, in in such uh, systems in instability uh, occurs when the uh, certain uh, conditions um, happens in the system so uh, at the design level of the system you can uh, prevent such instability using these uh, formulas to calculate parameters of PID cal uh, or PI uh, compensators for your uh, AC DC uh, power uh, converter. Okay, another question? Yeah. Please. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, my question is Did you consider a uh, parallel operation of your converters in the DC microgrid with the same converters? Or maybe uh, your converters with another type of converters in DC microgrids? Uh, in my uh, uh, case, I considered only uh, one uh, bidirectional um, interface, uh, like a converter, uh, working uh, in series with load converters, but not any parallel operation, because nowadays uh, one converter is enough to be the grid uh, interface, and it, um, when you use, <laughs> Uh, one converter, but not uh, par parallel, it's easier to tune the system. And power ratings is allowing us to uh, do this. Okay, uh, what about when uh, uh, you, as I see, there is a lot of uh, DC, 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 AC, and other converters. How it influence on your converters, and can your uh, control system operate with another converters in DC microgrids? Uh, yes, in DC microgrids, a lot of converters could be represented such as uh, Nortron 
Norton uh, schematic, it's like a current source with a parallel uh, impedance. It's impedance it like uh, input impedance of the system. So uh, the level of the input impedance will be uh, affected by all the, the converters in the system uh, source, low side converters. So uh, more the con lower converters, the lower the impedance, the lower you should do the impedance of your source converter. Uh, thank you, understood. Thank you for answer. Okay, maybe w another question? Well, uh, thank you, it's uh, really good work. Thank you. What is NSTU? Novosibirsk State Technical University is one of the largest technical universities in Russia, located in the very heart of the vast Siberian region. It might be called a city within a city, not only because of its size and infrastructure, but the special rhythm of life influencing emotions of thousands. NSTU guarantees advanced education, offers a vast variety of programs and is proud of its highly qualified faculty. It provides stimulating ground for the students to acquire knowledge, develop skills, and understand the beauty of the world in its diversity and multiplicity. NSTU is innovative and research-oriented. It is a place where breakthrough discoveries are made to contribute to intellectually challenging fields of study and world-class scientific projects. NSTU enjoys freedom of creativity and thought. It offers both students and staff the opportunity to express themselves, to maximize their talents and give way to imagination. It allows them to get surprised and surprise the world, broadening horizons and seeing new things in what seemed only common and ordinary. NSTU is born to be a winner. Its faculty does their best to educate high achievers who understand that soaring to new heights involves strategizing and hard work. The desire to win is the first step on the way to success. NSTU is your career. It offers new contacts leading to lifelong friendship, positive emotions, and love. It fills your life with meaning and gives unforgettable experiences. NSTU is people. NSTU is you. Vadim Sidorov. I'm the second year PhD student of Tallinn University of Technology. And today I would like to present you uh, topology morphic control with soft uh, transients for multi-mode series resonant DC-DC converter. Uh, DC microgrids are becoming more popular because right now uh, many portable devices in buildings can be connected to DC, for example, charges for phone, TV, uh, different uh, AC appliances with internal inverter. DC microgrids uh, consist of uh, centralized DC voltage bus of 350 volts uh, uh, interface inverter, uh, distributed uh, power a, a source and storage which require a front end DC DC converter. In this study, uh, we focus on, on this uh, front end converter, which should be a step up converter and provide uh, wide input voltage range, galvanic isolation, high efficiency. And uh, according to these uh, requirements, we decide to use series resonant DC DC converter as a front end DC converter. The series con uh, SRC converter consists of input side and output side uh, full bridge uh, cells based on MOSFETs, uh, series capacitors uh, with uh, the transformer, which forms equivalent resonant tank along with uh, the leakage inductance of the transformer. Uh, the main advantages of this topology is that uh, it can be uh, reconfigured from full bridge to half bridge because the uh, um, 
series capacitors are allowed to operate in how bridge modes just by uh, turning on one switch in the leg and turning off another one. In the same case for the uh, rectifier. And as a result, the voltage uh, gain can be changed from 1 to 0 0.5 in case of input side or from 1 to 2 in case of uh, rectifier. It is the main idea of this study, and it is called topology morphing control. Uh, at the same time, uh, bug or boost uh, control methods can be applied for controlled input voltage. In total, converter can operate under uh, five control modes. It's allowed to extend input voltage range. Uh, however, uh, regarding to operating in different, mo uh, different uh, configuration, the series capacitors features different DC voltage threads that should be uh, discharged or must be discharged or charged uh, during transition between uh, different configurations. Uh, this uh, cause high current and voltage stress and uh, parasitic oscillation in the uh, circuit that can be uh, damage uh, semiconductor devices uh, in case of hard switching. And the, this study aims to achieve soft uh, transitions between different configurations of this topology. In, uh, in order to simplify a uh, control system, the control variable of, of uh, 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 operation mode can be linearly decreased or increased during the uh, transitions. And it should be noted that uh, transition time uh, is limited by the uh, pro uh, properties of the resonant tank. And uh, the prototype of the CRC converter was built to verify operation in different mode and transition between them. The input voltage range of the converter uh, from 15 to 60, and operation power maximum cost 30 watts. This is a voltage and uh, power range allowed to operate with uh, most ma majority used uh, PV panels in the market. And uh, the control. The prototype is controlled by digital closed loop control system, which automatically select control modes. And one of, uh, for example, one of uh, 72 cells PV was uh, chosen for experiment. Uh, from efficiency curve, uh, we can uh, select the points for transition between uh, different modes. Uh, it means that uh, when the curve of efficiency are crossed, in, and this is point for transition from back, uh, from full bridge to half bridge, and uh, full bridge and half bridge rectifier. And uh, this slide shows the uh, uh, global uh, scanning of the uh, chosen PV. As you can see, the uh, control system changed the uh, <coughs> Uh, control modes and con uh, configuration of the converter without any high oscillation. Yeah, uh, if we zoom to the uh, waveforms, we can see the small oscillation, but they don't influence on the uh, global scanning because during the transition period, the uh, control system waiting when the voltage will be stabilized. And in conclusion, I would like to highlight the uh, proposed algorithm allows for reconfiguration of uh, reconfiguration the topology from full bridge and half bridge inverter and full bridge and half bridge rectifier uh, with soft uh, transitions. And the uh, uh, build it converter uh, has a wide input voltage range from 15 to 60 volts, efficiency above 93%, uh, and the highest efficiency of the converter 97.2%. And it should be noted that uh, the converter consists only six transistors, and only two of them has uh, hard uh, switching. And my future research will focus on uh, appliance oriented study of the given converter and design and the uh, efficiency optimized transformer. And thank you. Thank you for if, your report. If, if you have any questions, be free to answer me. <coughs> First question okay. is, uh, why do you choose uh, this type of converter, this uh, LC uh, series converter? 
not a parallel converter, for example, or LLC converter? Uh, yeah, uh, understood your question. Uh, in case of uh, LLC converter, there's the problem that it is controlled by uh, variable frequency control. And uh, the main disadvantages of LLC converter is that in the low frequency, there are a lot of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, parasitic power uh, circulating in the primary side. I mean, if you see, uh, because uh, it is a feature of LC converter, and the, in practice, LC converter operates in only in narrow input voltage range. But in our case, the converter should operate, uh, as I say, in wide input voltage range. And this converter uh, allow to reconfigurate. And if we see efficiency uh, figure, yeah, the efficiency uh, keep in the high level uh, below the 93 in the wide input voltage range. And we uh, also, according to parallel uh, series resonant converter, it requires additional uh, transistors to operate with to controlling uh, resonant tank. We compared in uh, our previous study. Okay, thank you. Other questions, please. And uh, can you uh, open slide number nine? Mm, this one? Yes, this one. And uh, why on this PCB a magnetic component placed uh, with degree uh, 45? 45? 40. Magnetic component on this PCB uh, placed with degree 45. Uh, placed with the angle. Ah, yes. you mean uh, placing? It's, uh, it's a good question to our uh, designer. But he decided to place uh, this way just to uh, shorter lines uh, between uh, transformer. Uh, it is the another side because uh, transformer connect to this place and this place. It is allow to short lines between transistor and primary side of transformer. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Other questions, please. Open, please, slide three topology. Topology. Uh, you search possible change diodes to transistor because uh, a transistor have uh, small uh, resistance than open. Uh, yes, we can do it, but the transistor cost in a high, high in two times and require additional drivers, auxiliary supply, and it is. Uh, also produce um, more power losses because in our power range, uh, 300 watts, if we had uh, added some small uh, power losses in, for example, auxiliary supply, about one watt, it's influence on our efficiency. Mm -hmm. In result, for example, in the case of PV, during one day we lost a lot of uh, energies from PV because for consumer it's really important to achieve the uh, maximum energy from PV. Okay, other questions? Okay, please, last question. <coughs> okay, thank a lot for your presentation. Uh, my question is, uh, as I got your, uh, um, your research, you proposed new transition algorithm, transition method between yes. two, between some uh, modes, and uh, how softly should this transition be? How long is it? Uh, yeah, we can open a solution. Yeah, this one. Uh, we don't have uh, exactly requirements for transition, but we try to achieve the faster uh, transition. And as I say, there is some limitation according to uh, properties of the topology now I open. Yeah, this. Uh, it is a limit for uh, time period for transition because a converter uh, should operate in a discontinuous current mode 
And if we, uh, across this uh, limited converter, become in uh, continuous current mode, it will be uh, high power losses. Yeah, we limit it. Okay, thank you. And uh, the second one, short question. Uh, can this transition influence on control algorithms? Control algorithms? Uh, yes. During the transition, uh, my control system are waiting when the input voltage will be stabilized in the same point, uh, like a before transition, and then continue global scanning. I mean, the uh, uh, control system carry out a global scanning of PV, then wait some s small time for transition, and then continue. But what, uh, what's about uh, voltage quality, output voltage quality during this transition? Um, uh, for us, it doesn't matter because uh, we don't have any requirements about uh, quality of output voltage. Yeah, because we don't, uh, we still don't have a strong standard according to DC. Now it's in development in the Netherlands. We are waiting when they they will show us the uh, documents with standards according to okay. oscillation in output voltage. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, thank you for your report. Thank you. Please, next one. Dear colleagues, uh, glad to present you my work uh, named Improving the Dynamic Characteristics of Autonomous Electric Generator Unit, and some words about uh, actuality. Uh, now, uh, at present day, uh, the uh, one of the m most uh, uh, one of the uh, main vectors of uh, uh, d uh, develop of uh, uh, electrical engineering is uh, uh, develop development of autonomous and uh, distribution and uh, 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 energy systems, and uh, one of the most popular energy sources is uh, EGU, energy, uh, electric generator unit, uh, and uh, it uh, ha has uh, some uh, operation features. For example, it uh, works uh, more efficiently uh, at uh, nominal uh, power uh, of EGU, and uh, it uh, very, uh, very s uh, sensitive to uh, uh, power uh, uh, rate of uh, power changes, uh, and uh, it, it can uh, lead to emergency shutdown, and uh, it can lead to the uh, operation instability, uh, frequency, and uh, voltage uh, fluctuations. Uh, at uh, previous work, uh, I uh, we. Uh, we provide the um, method of uh, energy storage systems uh, uh, cooperation with EGU, and uh, it provides the exponential power growth limitation, uh, and uh, it uh, make some power uh, uh, some power quality. Uh, uh, it make power quality better, uh, and but that have some uh, disadvantages uh, associated uh, with uh, exponential uh, nature of uh, of the system I, I, uh, for example high rate of uh, start uh, and uh, low rate at the finish of uh, transient and the uh, goal of the this work is to develop uh, of uh, method of forming linear Per profile of the generator out of power uh, and studying uh, its effects uh, and transient parameters. Uh, and, uh, and now pre pre presented uh, the simulation model of the power circuit. It's a uh, uh, three phases uh, bridge uh, inverter uh, with a battery in the DC link and uh, uh, EGU uh, model uh, and uh, load uh, changes uh, very very fast. Uh, and uh, this slide presents uh, the EGU function block diagram. Uh, this is uh, operation uh, features is uh, 
uh, a different uh, response uh, to the drop and the uh, search of the load uh, changing uh, uh, as pre presented uh, in this slide. Uh, uh, this slide presents the voltage inverted control circuit. Uh, it uh, based on the park gorev transformation of the uh, uh, output uh, parameters, for example, uh, voltage and currents, and uh, 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 system uh, based on the Akagi instantaneous power uh, theory, PQ theory. And the main block, uh, uh, block of the, the system is uh, PG reference and QG reference. And the uh, 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 function block diagram of this uh, block uh, presented uh, on this slide. Uh, and the main block is the uh, integrator. And other blocks uh, 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 present the uh, uh, response to the different uh, 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 different uh, di direct of the uh, load changing and uh, uh, load changing uh, limitations. Uh, this slide uh, presents the time diagrams of the single EGU, EGU operation uh, on the left uh, picture. On the central picture is the exponential uh, limitation mode of ESS energy storage system. Uh, and uh, in the final, the linear uh, limitation mode. And uh, at the bottom of the slide uh, is present the uh, comparison of the uh, different modes. And uh, it uh, can shown. Uh, it, it shows the uh, linear uh, 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 control method is uh, have significant uh, advantages uh, over the uh, other modes. Uh, and uh, in conclusion, uh, uh, it can uh, it, it must to. to uh, to note uh, this, uh, this advantages of uh, develop, uh, development method. Uh, thank you. Okay, thank you for your report. <clears throat> One main question is, uh, please uh, highlight the improvements uh, uh, one more time. What, mm. Im what improvements in numbers, raw numbers? Uh, previous slide, please. This? Yeah, yes, uh, this one. So, uh, uh, voltage uh, change is uh, de decreased from <coughs> about 10% uh, to about 1.2. 1 1.2. Okay, thank you. Uh, other questions, please? Please. The combined uh, synchron generator plus uh, voltage source inverter better than uh, asynchronous generator with uh, um, current inverter. Uh, this uh, synchron uh, generator is uh, pre preferred uh, because it's the uh, most uh, popular uh, structure of generator unit? Uh, is uh, synchron generation with uh, permanent magnets or not? Uh, repeat. Uh, no, 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 no. This uh, have uh, the uh, excitation uh, Current is the end uh, and uh, voltage uh, regulation. Thank you. Thank you. Sergei. Other questions, please. Yes, yeah, Sergey. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, if I correctly understand, it is uh, uh, autonomous. Autonomous. 
autonomous system, yes? Yes. Uh, what is the application of this system? And what is the uh, range of power voltage? Uh, range of power voltage, uh, uh, range of power uh, uh, is uh, over uh, 100 kilowatts. And uh, application uh, uh, is uh, uh, northern uh, stations, uh, which uh, um, uh, oil gas uh, extracting. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay, uh, last question is uh, how long until real prototype will be? Uh, will be. Uh, the real prototype uh, of exponential uh, uh, limitation mode is uh, is exist exists uh, but uh, at the power uh, uh, power load is 100 and uh, one uh, uh, 1.5 uh, megawatts. Uh, uh, this uh, uh, this stations is uh, exist, uh, but linear uh, control system uh, is uh, only on simulation. Okay, and when? Hello, my name. Uh, when uh, when do you plan to incorporate your control system into real hardware? Uh, now we have plans to uh, introduce this uh, control method to uh, 1.5 kilowatts uh, uh, model uh, uh, real. Uh, and uh, other uh, ways is not predictable. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for your work. Mm -hmm. Please. Nikita Sevastianov. Hello, everyone. I hope you are doing well and you enjoy the conference. My name is Nikita Sevastianov. I am a first year PhD student at Novosibirsk State Technical University, and today. I'm going to tell you about my research on resonant controllers designed for frequency selective impedance controlled DC microgrid. And uh, I will speak according to, the, to this outline, five main parts, uh, statement of the object and the purpose of the research, methodo methodological framework, results, experimental verification, and conclusion. Firstly, about object and purpose of the research. Uh, I'll start from uh, describing of the object of the research. Uh, this is a DC distributed power system or DC microgrid. Uh, there are energy sources on the left side, uh, loads on the right side, side and uh, special interface power converters between them. And uh, each power converter has a special closed voltage loop to stabilize DC bus voltage. And uh, for such system, we have proposed a new control algorithm, frequency selective impedance control, or FSIC, uh, that, is, uh, uh, that is use resonant controllers, cascade of parallel resonant controllers, with infinite gain at the resonant frequencies. And this algorithm is intended to re significantly reduce the output impedance of the controllers at the resonant frequencies. But there is a problem uh, that anomalous peaks appear in the output impedance. And according to this, to this problem, we stated the object of the research as an interface power converter in DC microgrid, and the purpose to, um, to design this control system uh, to avoid the anomalous peaks and to provide stability, because the, more, uh, the bigger the anomalous peaks are, 
uh, the more unstable the power converters are. And uh, a couple of words about methodological framework, about uh, what methods and approaches we used to achieve this purpose. Uh, we considered such uh, two schemes, uh, the power converters and the control system of the power converters, and we used the following equivalents of these schemes. Uh, and we focused on, uh, on consideration of the influence of control system on the output impedance. Uh, we considered each resonant controller independently. Uh, and we focused on such um, special type of resonant controllers with phase lag compensation. Uh, as it is shown on this slide, uh, two parts of the power controllers. And uh, there are two parameters of such controllers, proportional coefficients and uh, a phase lead. And we, uh, we are intended to design these parameters. So uh, what the results we uh, obtained? Uh, the first one is the phase lead calculation equation. Uh, we, op we derived this equation to avoid the anomalous peaks, uh, as it is shown on this slide. If you see uh, blue lines, ideal case, and meet the Nyquist criterion optimally in the best way. It is a um, criteria of stability. And the second result is calculation of the proportional coefficient. Uh, we uh, stated the following task to design this, to calculate this coefficient. Um, set the impedance, uh, the output impedance, less the desired level, Zd, within the prescribed frequency range around the resonant frequency. And from this point, we obtained this equation to calculate the coefficient and uh, to verify the results, we, uh, we developed an experimental bench uh, with uh, a single switch boost converter with the parameters shown at this table. And we obtain uh, some frequency responses. Uh, this is uh, the Nyquist plot for, this, for that converter and uh, the output impedance of the converter. And uh, these results, these experimental results, verify uh, the main points of the research. Uh, and in the conclusion, I'd like to enumerate the main contributions, contributions, scientific contributions of our research. Uh, we proposed an approach to detailed investigation of the connection between the output impedance and stability of the power converters in DC microgrid uh, by uh, Nyquist plots. Uh, we design, we propose design approach for the resonant controllers to calculate uh, the phase lead and the coefficients to provide optimal stability and uh, to provide optimal stability, avoid the anomalous peaks and set the impedance less the desired level, desired value. And uh, we obtained the experimental, uh, the ex the experimental results to verify the proposed design. Uh, thank you so much. Okay, uh, thank you for your report. Uh, please tell me, uh, what's the power of your uh, DC converter was in uh, your study? Mm -hmm. 250 watts, one uh, converter. One converter, okay. Yes. Uh, uh, does it intended to work in parallel operation with uh, the same converters? Uh, if to talk about this research, uh, I would say no. 
this is uh, this algorithm uh, was um, proposed for uh, not for parallel uh, parallel working of the converters, but there is another uh, research our research uh, when where we proposed a modified of this uh, algorithm to provide parallel working of these converters. But uh, if you use this algorithm for DC microgrids, uh, there, is a, um, there is a problem uh, in such case that output currents of every converters um, are shared not equally between the converters. I mean, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, not, not currents, but currents ha harmonics at the reason of frequency. Yes. Okay, thank you. Other questions, please? Please. Yeah. Nikita, thank you for an interesting presentation. Uh, my question is, uh, did you compare your approach for design control system with uh, another approach, maybe from uh, literature? And what, is it, uh, what, uh, what are disadvantages or and advantages of your approach for design control system? Uh, yes, I considered some other approaches to um, to improve voltage uh, voltage quality in DC microgrids. Uh, I know two approaches, two big groups of approach. Approach uh, is circuit-based and control-based approach, and uh, of course, th there are many disadvantages of circuit-based approach be because uh, they used many additional components in the system, and it it reduces uh, reliability and fault tolerance of the system on the whole system. And uh, what about control-based approaches? Uh, there are few uh, methods to uh, for DC microgrids. And uh, I think that the main, uh, th there are two main advantages of this algorithm is uh, they are that uh, the algorithm, the proposed algorithm um, allows us to, to suppress uh, the voltage ripple at the resonant frequency uh, almost to zero. Mm -hmm. And uh, the second advantage is that uh, this approach is used only control um, control system for this. Uh, what about uh, disadvantages? Um, well, maybe the disadvantage is that resonant controllers are quite um, difficult for maybe old microcontrollers because they have uh, lower performance, uh, computational performance. Okay. And uh, I, I think uh, I think another uh, disadvantage is that maybe it's difficult to um, to adjust these controllers for real uh, loads because loads have different frequencies, mm -hmm. and uh, for this approach, for this method, uh, we have to adjust the resonant frequency exactly. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, please, one last question. Uh, thank you for your presentation. Uh, your approach uh, for the voltage stabilization is to reduce uh, the gain at a certain level, uh, at a certain frequency. So, uh, Input, cur input current of the uh, converter at the frequency will be higher than the uh, for the others uh, uh, control methods. Maybe uh, you consider some um, so uh, s some solves <laughs> of such problem. Mm. You mean that? Uh in this case, if we reduce the voltage harmonics at the specific frequency, uh, we, mm, we get 
significantly increasing of input currents input at this frequency. Harmonic. Yes, I think that uh, there are no uh, solution solutions for these methods uh, if we talk about control-based uh, solution. But uh, if you, you you can use special active filters uh, to reduce uh, voltage ripple, and uh, there is no such problem in this case. Only active filters uh, I can use to uh, reduce current ripples, or uh, passive filters would be enough to... Passive active, no. Okay, thank you. Does okay, uh, thank you for your report, and thank you for your work. Thank you. Please, Andrei Sidorov. Hello there. Uh, my name is Andrei Sidorov. I am from Novosibirsk State Technical University. And the topic of my presentation is solid state transformer as a part electrical out for data center application. Uh, so firstly, currently the information and communication technology sector consumer is 10% uh, of the world electricity. Uh, second, the increasing in IP traffic on the internet leads to the need for more computing power. And third, uh, concretely, electricity consumption is increasing. Uh, so research institutions and uh, industries are interested in more efficient elements of the energy supply chain uh, for data centers. Uh, data centers are low voltage uh, DC loads. On figure two, uh, you can see a standard scheme to with uh, low frequency transformer uh, for, so, uh, for data center application. Uh, but in figure three, three uh, you can see uh, solution with uh, solid state transformer, where solid state transformer is the uh, interface uh, between uh, medium voltage AC link and uh, DC uh, bus uh, with uh, 400 volt volts. In the concept of SST, uh, the power is distribu distributed uh, at the medium voltage levels. Uh, each server rack is powered by its own SST, and the free fuzz of the medium voltage power system are loaded symmetrically. Uh, so the power cons consumption range of the uh, server's uh, rack is uh, range at uh, between uh, 4 and uh, 40 kilowatts. In this slide, uh, you can see concept proposed ICAC topology. Uh, structurally, it is a free phase device. Uh, consists of free single phase cook converter with galvanic isolation. Uh, at the output, all channels are combined in parallel. Uh, into a common IC bus with a reactor. Uh, reactor limits the equalization current. Uh, the harmonic of the current are in phase at the input, uh, but the output, the current harmonics are shift due to multiple shifts of the control system. Uh, on this slide, you can see uh, overview of the trade-offs that are affected by the number of cascaded converter cells. Uh, on the one hand, the first scenario, uh, first script uh, when uh, we used more cascaded cells, uh, designed based uh, on a device with high, oh, no. Uh, uh, lower block and voltage are dominated by conduction losses, uh, but uh, the other hand, uh, when we uh, uh, used fewer cascaded cells, uh, the design based on device with higher block and voltage are dominated by switching closes. In this slide, uh, you can see energy characteristic. The obtained major energy characteristic of the device is 
mathematical model based on the method of direct analysis of algebraization of different equation, uh, the best power factor is observed in the region where the converter operated as an increasing one. At the same time, gain is more than two. And in figure 10, uh, you can see group of external characteristics. Uh, so short conclusion, the main is the topology benefit uh, because it's some operation, the input current is leads in relation to voltage and the device is source of reactive power for the supply network and can participate in the compensation of inductive reactive power of other consumers. Uh, future research is required especially on an optimal number of cut models, a single stage conversion on active front end converters and optimized design of SST. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you for your report. And uh, f my first question is uh, what uh, expecting efficiency of uh, solid state transformer uh, will be? Okay, yeah, this uh, proposed ICIC topology is only concept, uh, but uh, the uh, most uh, benefits uh, uh, SST versus uh, low, frec uh, low frequency transformer, uh, you can see on this uh, graphic, is uh, scaling of transformer volume with frequency for constant power. Okay, uh, so you have uh, no uh, assumption about uh, efficiency, you have uh, no modeled uh, this uh, converter yet. Yes. Okay, uh, other questions, please? Uh, I have one question in the room. No, Alexei. Uh, Alexei, are you right? You have one question. Alexei, do you have any question? No? Okay, sorry. I would like to continue the last questions. Uh, could you outline the advantages of uh, this type uh, transformer uh, regard to uh, conventional schemes of transformer with secondaries? Advantages? Uh, advantage is uh, volume uh, as a EMC and uh, 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 SST. For, for, for example, uh, the such type of transformer has uh, less Bunkley size. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and other and other advantages. And no EMC. Uh, Electromagnetic resistance. Yeah. Electromagnetic. Ah, MI. Inter sorry. Sorry. Uh, okay, uh, why uh, did you use uh, the Cook schemes? Uh, it's only concept. I uh, before I used many other scheme, half bridge, full bridge, dual active bridge for SST converter. Uh, but in this work, uh, I research this topology with Gennady Stepanovich. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, there are three uh, very uh, attractive uh, topology of um, multi-level uh, converter, mm -hmm. uh, series or cascaded uh, H-bridge, uh, fly capacitor, and uh, um, clamped di diodes. Mm -hmm. And what do you prefer uh, to use in uh, such type of application for uh, electronic uh, transformer? Um, because in is interesting uh, topologies in some operation uh, uh, modes, the input current is leads in relation to voltage and uh, the device is a source of reactive power for the supply networks and can participate in the compensation of indicated reactive power on other consumers. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, so another advantage is uh, that uh, this uh, schematic, uh, this topology can act as uh, active filter. Yes? Yes. Okay. Other questions, please? Please. Tell me, please, uh, when uh, your device will uh, operate in uh, cascading mode and uh, the emergency mode uh, may uh, done, such as cascading damage of uh, other levels of uh, your device? Uh, what is uh, what uh, we should do in uh, this case? Um, I repeat uh, the main thesis. This is only cascading concept. mode is uh, cascading damage in emergency mode. What we should do? Damage. Failure. One phase failure. How we you protect? How you protect in non-operational conditions? How to prevent this situation? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> so it is a concept uh, working only main mode and. Uh, main uh, control strategy, not uh, auxiliary modes ra uh, like uh, short circuit or another uh, failures? Uh, this scheme is operate is uh, some mode uh, with uh, uh, static uh, with static uh, oper operation. No, for example, in fig, D, uh, fig 9 is adjustment characteristic uh, and dependence of the input power factor uh, on a duty cycle. Okay, uh, the next question from Sergei Alexandrovich. On what uh, frequency your transformer is operated? Uh, is uh, this system operated is of uh, uh, 15, fre uh, fi uh, 50. 15 kilohertz, yes, frequency. Kilohertz? Kilohertz. Okay, and uh, what upper frequency for Thank you. this topology? Can this ah. topology operate at high? Uh, uh, 100 kilohertz. Okay. okay. Other questions? No? Okay, uh, thank you for your report and thank you for your ideas and your work. Uh, a final report at uh, our section. Today we have uh, some some uh, remote participants. Unfortunately, we have uh, also some difficulties uh, with the connection of uh, two. Our participants is uh, Ibhumati Gunasikaran and Alexander Mulbayer. Unfortunately, we have no connection with him at all. Uh, all other works were represented here. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, our section ends successfully.
Uh, and uh, also, I think that uh, Power Electronics uh, Society Day celebration event uh, that uh, that was today uh, connected to our section is uh, also um, celebrated with uh, good with good mood and uh, good uh, work. Okay, uh, thank you. If you have uh, some uh, acknowledges or some words, some final words, uh, please, you have 10, 20 seconds, please. Uh, I listen uh, these reports and I'm, I want to say that our, that our Russian power electronic is not dead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, some other ideas and final words? Well, thank you all for, for your attention and for participation. Thank you all for your good questions. Uh, thank you all for listening work, works done. And uh, thank you uh, for this good time. Thank you. Thank you. Now the section power electronics and uh, power engineering uh, into uh, 22 international conference EDM uh, 2021 is finished. Thank you. You are explorers. It's who you are. You think bigger and smaller. You think faster and slower. You take inspiration from everywhere so you can innovate more. Your visions start in rooms, move to desktops, then to pockets, then to wrists. You ask big questions, pose impossible challenges, all the while seeking those who believe like you do. At Keysight, we believe. We nurture the far-fetched, remove barriers that limit possibilities, and stay ahead of the standards. We redefine precision in measurement, so you can go smaller. We integrate and expand test functions, so you can streamline complex workflows. And we surface intelligent analytics, so you can innovate faster. We believe in you. We are Keysight. We accelerate innovation. <laughs>